Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect 2. Again, once again, back on that loyalty mission grind. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. Almost there. <laughs> we just have four more left. So I'm going to try my best. I don't know how long these missions are, but I'm going to try my best to fit two into each episode. So we should be almost there. But I think uh, we're probably going to do them in this exact order from, from here on out. So today, we are going to start off with Samara. Uh, also, if you missed it, uh, last episode, we took care of Miranda and Thane's loyalty mission. So definitely go check that out. It was a pretty emotional episode. But today, we are going to start off with Samara's loyalty mission. Aria has work for me. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? Oh, side, depends on side what mission. Aria has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go <laughs> up against Arya. Can't she just Why do the same thing with somebody else? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. All right, I'll do I'll it. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your deal. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. All right. I guess I'm guessing that is a side quest, but we're gonna still stick with uh, Samara's. Loyalty mission. What's up, girl? What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last <laughs> victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Yikes, a young girl. All right, I will. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. All right, let's go to the apartments. Who's this? Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Oh, this poor lady. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. All right. Another side quest, I'm assuming. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. Oh, no, this is actually she Samara's. talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I think I this is actually her. Samara's loyalty she mission. She kept dragging okay. Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Tell me about the Asari. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club. Loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this morning did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... That... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. 
My baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. Come for her. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. All right, we gotta find a VIP password around here. Uh, is this her house? I guess so. This is a weird looking place. It's not an apartment, I feel like. All right, here we got a diary. Uh, read the middle, newest, oldest. Let's read the middle. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want That's to be so with sad, her forever. Dude. She can it's sell my up. pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. All right, and the oldest. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room oh, at there Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. That sucks, dude. To close the hollow to journal. To yes, not Lawrence love somebody Warren. that much, like somebody She's that much. Attracted to artists and creators, someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal, then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. That's so fucked up, dude. She sounds dangerous. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for four hundred years warrants caution. Warren speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. All right, we, we lay a trap. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm the bait. This will be interesting. <laughs> She'll come after me. You can draw more in out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear.
But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. You're right, Mind you're right. Is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. All Trust right. me. Let's go. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. All right. Uh, is there anything else we can look at? There's a statue. The man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I never part with it. Wow. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. But I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Hmm. All right, Forta. Okay, I think we're done here, you guys. Should I talk to the mom? Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? No, there's nothing. Okay. I should go. <laughs> I should go. All right, let's head to the VIP room. All right, here we are. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What? What do you want? Oh, here we go. Druid sent me. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. All right. Oh god, going in a to a club in a hoodie. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. All right. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Okay, I gotta be a little rude, I guess. Right? Not not so, so much, you know, paragon options here. Uh, okay, alone. Getting her alone and falling in her sway. That will require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. It's my shit. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. All right. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Oh. Okay, here goes nothing. I feel so weird entering a club with a hoodie on. <laughs> so underdressed, but you know, I don't give a shit, you know? I just go in and punch this guy. Let's have a chat. Hey. Do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. What the fuck? I can score way out of my league. That's know? music? You gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. All right, well, I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Tickets, tickets. All right, let's just mingle, you know? Look like we don't give a shit. 
right? I can't find any of these guys. Is that Conrad? <laughs> oh. Are you still here? Got a guy we can punch. Looking dance. What else can I do here? I can talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A bit piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said before it's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Flort, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. Okay, I'll do it. I can do that. Thank you. Terminal Thank you. and eternity. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Okay, okay, okay. Terminal, eternity. You're an interesting one. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every day. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. You're welcome. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. All right. Dancing together, go ahead. I do <laughs> want to think that. What the fuck? <laughs> the way she's dancing. All right, got a nice dancing. I love this place. I love everybody. Insult. Uh, insulting somebody would be a good way to start a fight and you know defend myself. Let's talk to this guy. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I can fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone. We love having you here. So a round of drinks on the house. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. Oh. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Alrighty then. No option Some there. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight it's you. Why is that? Um. Alright, let's see these, the, these renegade options here. I know what I like. Do you? Um, music, art, music. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. Yeah. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. Oh, damn. We just met, lady. There are ways to enhance that. You know? Uh, what like a drug. Alex, it slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, art. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? 
Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's so Isn't it weird? I, I just happen to know everything you like. <laughs> I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veenia? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Travel? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Uh, I like the danger. I love coming home. <laughs> Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Jesus. Violent places. Can you be any more Violence is the surest expression of power. Power is its own reward. Power is strength. Must be insecure. Power is safety. Who has the power here? Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Jesus. She's very forward. That was really quick. Oh, okay. We're here already. I'm nervous. What is that? Distractor? Keep her busy. Uh, there's a pill bottle here. I'm kind of curious. Oh, it's a sculpture. Let's go look at the sculpture. I'm kind of curious. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got oh! more personality than he did. It's a Krogan. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Oh, I want a statue of a Krogan. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Oh, uh, is that something you want to tell me? <laughs> right, one weird, okay, that's not weird. I would have left right after that line. <laughs> Ooh. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Yeah, I would have left. I mean, I wouldn't even be in this position, first of all. I would never go to somebody's apartment after meeting them, like, you know, a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Have a Halix if you want, but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. All right, let's distract I love her. Clubs, people, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood, but here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Safety is a lie. No. I think I'm gonna go renegade here. Let's see. I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. Let's try this. It's We've the only option. Killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Oh. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I can't think. Surprise. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Yikes, yikes. Come on, Samara. Get your ass in here, please, quickly. Mari! Mother, do not call me that. I oh. didn't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. Oh, okay. Maybe we should chill out. Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. What? Why would I? No, I'm not gonna kill Samara. I'm not, why would I? End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Find peace in the embrace of 
the goddess. She just killed so many innocents. Why would I? I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Are you okay? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. What the fuck? Alright. Well, we're done here. Holy shit. I feel bad. I didn't want... I, I don't know. I'm curious. You could have let Samara die. Uh, I don't know. Like, what? I'm curious to see how that played out. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams, were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Aratyakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. All right. I'm still like losing my mind over what just happened. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. Aww. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my word clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot terminals on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset, eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. Wow. So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? <laughs> I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. 
Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. Oh, that's so sweet. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I trained to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Arashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Latarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers. Murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly. Cleanly. To minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Oh, it's just so weird. It's so weird to be... Her, to go from talking about his wife to be like... I hope this doesn't sound too weird. Maybe I haven't been as upfront as I should be. I'm here for you, Thane. That's a lot better. Whatever you need. It's a lot you, better. You are very kind. <laughs> Thank you for listening, Siha. I think my translator just glitched. What did you call me? Siha. Someday I'll tell you what it means. The fuck? Now he's got a nickname for me? <laughs> Aww. That was cute. All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start Jacob's loyalty mission now. Oh, this reminds me of that planet. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but um, in Mass Effect 1. intact they could have survived impact but it's been years all right so we're supposed to be looking for jacob's dad right who he thought had died Looks like it was stripped after the crash they'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible what is this along with this anymore we've done horrible things to the crew the conditions they're in they don't understand what we're doing to them Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it is. What now? Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemical... From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Oh, for some reason he didn't read that. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. 
The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. All right, My father fine, had Taylor. For almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It is unlikely anyone could avoid the effects for so long. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith, the hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. What? They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them, agents of the liar! He will not escape. What is happening here? Come on! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to freaking equip ammo. Father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You kill them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Let's see. I hope they're they're nice. Hello. Okay, clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? Makes males get violent. Possibly. But hmm. the female on the beach said the exiled came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. <laughs> Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? 
Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. What is going on here? What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. What the fuck? Oh, shit. A competent leader never needs to use violence against his own. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just... Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read but this what is going on start, what he promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky what is it jacob what does it say it's a crew log book some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long they were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay my father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. That's fucked the up. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. What the hell? After the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Do you see an explanation? Oh shit, for was this? there an, ex an investigation is your father, option? Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. All right, confront Taylor. I, I don't know if there's an investigation option there. I, I kind of saw something like last minute in the glimpse of my eye. That wasn't, wasn't sure. All right, we can set this to explode and uh, blow up the path. Battery, corridor. T. Here we go. Oh, we back up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Here we go. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. Uh huh. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. The posed corpse has been there a long time. A warning. These others, a month. And left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. What the hell? Oh shit. Uh, All right. Oh. All right, let's go behind cover. Hit it, hit it. There we go. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. Oh, more. Oh. Let's see what Samara can do. Oh, oh more.
is my best. Uh -huh. out. Not my father. Uh. Oh, shit. Time to try out Kane. Okay, wait a sec. Let's get behind cover and heal. Thing. I don't know how this is working. How do I use this thing? I need assistance. How do I use this thing? Was that me? Holy shit. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't wanna get Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him just. Hell yeah. Shit. <laughs> Well, that's how you do it. <laughs> that gun's dangerous. There he is. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. What is going on here? I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. Toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? He doesn't even recognize his own son. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would 10 years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but 10 years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. 
Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Um, so, what happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following I don't like me. this guy. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Servers can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. <laughs> I'd shoot him. Leave him in the hell he made. Honestly, I'm kind of leaning in towards just leaving his ass here and saving everybody else. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punch through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. I think we have a reasonable idea. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Wow. Jacob! Damn. His own son. I mean, I agree. Oof. Give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. So wait, what just happened? You had no idea Miranda was behind this. 
No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Come on, we got work to do. Hi, Commander. A little confused Shepard. about what just happened there. Thanks for the help. One time only. <laughs> Any time, Jacob. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. I just helped your ass, bitch, we'll have a conversation later. with me. Commander. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was a little, I'm a little confused about what exactly happened with Miranda, and then I'm a little confused at the end there when we got back to the ship. So did we save the survivors on that planet? We just left uh, the men and Jacob's dad there, is that right? Shepard, I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. A nice seat. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. <laughs> Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But That's what I like to hear. But curiosity is quite welcome. <laughs> you know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. <laughs> something 
Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. I've been thinking Thinking's always about you. willing to talk. And I, I like you. it. <laughs> Will you hear my confession, Siha? Last time we talked like this, you said you'd explain what Siha means. I need to explain myself to you first. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. But I met another Siha. Few are privileged to meet even one. You still the music. told me what a Siha is. One of the warrior angels of the goddess Arashu. Fierce in wrath. A tenacious protector. I confess, I've come to care for you. Perhaps I'm being foolish. We are very different. Damn, I can't replace your wife. I, I'm gonna go for it. I, I'm, I'm curious. Just for this game. And then, of course, we'll we'll always go back to Liara and, and Mass Effect 3. But I'm curious. I'm not sure we know each other well enough to call it love. But I feel something for you, too. Something more than friendship. I've never felt affection for another species. I'm not sure what to do now. We'll just have to figure it out. I look forward to the memories. Aww. All right. Um, I don't know if we're in like a relationship now. I didn't get any trophy. I don't know exactly how it works. <laughs> and I know that, like not everybody is considered a technical romance. Well, all right, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.